Okay. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I guess let's start with some introductions. I'm Sylvie, and I attended BHS, graduated in 2019, um, and I'm joined with Nora, who goes to BHS now and is going to answer some questions for us about what it's like to go to school there. Okay, guys. Hi, I'm Nora. <laughs> um, I'm a junior at Burlington, and I also attend the Tech Center, which is kind of close to the campus, but not really on it. Um, and I'm a three-season athlete. Wow. What do you do? I play hockey and field hockey and tennis. Oh, awesome. It's a good transition is, like, what has the sports situation been like with all the fields are still at the old BHS and busing and everything like that? Yeah. Um, most of the underclassmen, since they can't drive, they hop on the bus right after school, and then they just take it down to the field. And a lot of practices start at, like, 345, which our school gets out at 315. Mm. So um, sometimes they're a little bit late, but if they're able to, like, get a ride with some of the upperclassmen, I think it's fine. Um, but it is kind of a little bit of a commute. And it's I think it would have been really nice if our school was attached to the fields, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday... I had a tour of VHS and with the principal, and she was saying that a few days ago there were some people practicing on the field at VHS, and they had to do a shelter in place because of the thunder and lightning, but there was no place, so they just had to get on the bus and go back to um, VHS because like there's nowhere inside where they can go when they're at the fields, besides like yeah. maybe the bathrooms and the locker rooms. Yeah. And even that, like, even the bathrooms, they're not even open, like, oh, really? all year round. I think right now they're locked because mm. if the water's not running, then they just, like, lock the bathrooms. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so there is no shelter at the field. So when it's, like, thundering, I guess the kids that didn't have cards or cars had to hop back on a bus. And they, like, went and did a class um, of, like, what's it called when you watch your game? Oh, films. Uh, yeah. They did films yeah. back at the old school mm. or the new school. Yeah. Brand new. <laughs> Brand new. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Are you still able to like host home games? Yeah. Or, like, yeah. Yeah, we totally do. Um, we had like four games this week. Um, I'm actually shadowing the trainer at the field. So that's really fun. We still have a trainer and like all that good stuff. And um, we do track meets. We host everything still. There's nothing that we can't really host because we're remote-ish. Yeah. <laughs> what about basketball? Ooh, that's a good, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The basketball, since our gym is now off limits, the boys and girls play at UVM if they have open gym, gym space or um, St. Mike's for their home games, which is kind of cool, honestly. Yeah. Like, it was really um, fun for us to get to go into those spaces. But, um, yeah, so it was, like, a very tight schedule, and the practices were pretty late at night for them during the regular season because of the UVM kids that actually have to practice there. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I guess let's just start by kind of explaining what the downtown BHS is, Burlington High School, and I guess talk kind of about what it's like to go to school there. Okay. <laughs> um, well, there's no windows, so it's yeah. kind of a hard environment to, like, focus in if you're an outdoorsy person. Mm -hmm. And the lights are very bright. Like, when you walk into a mall and the lights are really harsh, those yep. are the same lights since they never actually changed them. Mm -hmm. um, and then some kids actually wear sunglasses inside because <laughs> the lights give them headaches, so I think that's kind of oh. funny. But... Um, we don't have walls that go all the way up to the ceiling, ceiling so that it's kind of echoey and loud and you can hear multiple classrooms as you're in the same classroom. Mm. So when band's playing, it gets kind of loud, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that can be distracting, but I think um, a lot of the students have adapted to it, like you adapt to everything, but mm -hmm. it doesn't really bother me anymore. Um, it's just kind of a safety issue when it comes to not having walls if we go into lockdown or anything yeah but yeah I get that makes sense does it does the overall I mean 
I know being downtown is kind of like there's a lot going on around the school. So is it like, do you feel like it's a safe place? Like I know um, yesterday in the tour they were mentioning like just Church Street and the bus stop and there's a lot of really busy areas right next to the school. Yes, totally. Um, especially the bus stop that's really close. There's It's free transportation right now. So there's a lot of homeless people in Burlington, mm-hmm. as you know, um, and sometimes they like, not trying to harass, but you get harassed a little bit. Yeah. And as like a freshman at a high school, you're not really used to that yet. Yeah. You're used to going downtown by yourself. But um, you, I think a lot of the students got used to um, interacting with them pretty quickly because mm-hmm. it's so frequent. And we have a security guard that's right at the entrance, and we have to show our IDs as soon as we walk in. Mm-hmm. Like, even if he knows you, it's super strict. Yeah. So um, that's good. I, f- I feel really safe in my school. but mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Is there just one entrance? There's two – or no, there's three entrances. One of them is locked from the outside, and you can never, like, get in. Um, another one is from the garage, the parking garage which I think we should talk about, too, because yeah. that's really important. But um, that one is also locked. Unless you're a teacher, you can, like, buzz in, and they can scan your ID. But it, a lot of kids are, like, in and out throughout the day, and so there's normally kids around there, there will, that will let you in yeah. if you're in a rush. Because if you can't get in from the parking garage, then you have to walk up the hill and go all the way around, mm. which is kind mm-hmm. of annoying. Yeah, It takes, like, three minutes, which if you're late to school. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long it's time. It's an issue. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the front, you have to buzz in, and they'll unlock the doors, and then we have our security guard right there. So it's pretty secure. Yeah, that's good. I know at the old VHS, there was, like, probably 15 doors, like entrances, places where you could get in, and you could kind of, like, just sneak your way in and out of anywhere. And a lot of kids... um had to because it was well there was five buildings and then there's ramps between each one that were above ground or not above ground but like like bridges and the only way you could get to the most of the bridges is is if you took stairs and so students who are handicapped would have to go outside and around to get from building to building which was just so unbelievably like inaccessible and so BHS, How did that work in the winter times? It, it was just, you had to be careful. And I think that's why, I think in 2019, there was a bill passed for a new school to be built, which obviously then got pushed around because of everything. But yeah, it, we really need it. Yeah, that was incredibly inaccessible. Yeah. Um, I think another safety feature is the fact that our school is so small Mm -hmm. and we have a lot of our um, guidance and like student support, student support Mm -hmm. right in the middle of our school where the escalators are. Mm -hmm. So you can see like um, the student support teachers like right there as you're going up the escalator or down from class and every like there's always teachers around supporting you and I don't know. There's always eyes on you in the building. There's not really anywhere you can hide. Yeah. So I think that's another good thing because it's helping kids from skipping class Mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be like a fifth of the size of the old one. It's very small. It's just just one building. Like there's nowhere you can go. Yeah. So um, I don't even have like a gym. So yeah, I saw the gym. It looks like a little like CrossFit gym. Like it's just like some mats and workout equipment. And four square. <laughs> yes. PE looks very different mm-hmm. here than what I heard about the other mm-hmm. Burlington. But um, b- most of the time, if it's nice out, they're just going down to the waterfront, playing, oh. like, games down there. Or they walk up to the YMCA and use a group fitness room to do a workout. Hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. You're right in downtown. And yeah. So like it that's does a good like use of the resources that we have. Yeah, definitely. The location does give us so many opportunities. Yeah. Um, so what's the parking like, the parking garage? Where is it? The parking garage is connected to the hotels around Mm -hmm. and our school. So we're in the middle of, like, um, the hotels and the the garage. And so at the beginning of the school year, they... (laughs) (laughs) 
they um, set out like a uh, email that was talking about the cost of parking because mm-hmm. it's not free. Oh yeah. Um, and it the first initial email was that it was going to cost two hundred and seventy dollars for the school year oh my for God. someone to get a parking pass. And my initial thought was, I will take the bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So uh, then they rate lowered it a little bit because they realized that that was just like insanely like that it was just not approachable for any student. Yeah. Um. So they lowered it to one hundred and sixty dollars, and still I was yeah. not really happy with that. So I found a way to not get a parking pass and still be able to drive um, to school, mm-hmm. which um, the parking garage people kind of got a hold of recently, and they realized that p- kids were like cheating the system. So you could do two hours of free parking in the app, and then after the two hours was up, I would do it again mm-hmm. and again until mm-hmm. the school day was over. But they figured out that um, now once you put your license plate in and the two hours parking free, you get it once in one day. Yeah. And then it starts tr- charging me. So I've been parking like on Elmwood Street, uh-huh. which is three blocks, four blocks yeah. away from the school, yeah. which is kind of a far walk. And it goes past um, some isolated parts of downtown Burlington. Mm-hmm. Like, it takes me through, like, the bus station, and um, which is a pretty busy space. Mm-hmm. And it takes me through, or past the ho- new homeless shelter pods. Yeah, which, yeah. Which um, sometimes can be pretty quiet, but sometimes it's pretty busy around mm-hmm. there. So I guess sometimes it's a nice walk, but yesterday I didn't have a <laughs> great experience. Mm-hmm. I did end up getting followed. <laughs> For no. three blocks. Yeah, it was kind of freaky. Yeah. But um, that's a personal choice that I decided to, like, park where it was free instead of getting a pass. Yeah. I mean, that's, like, pretty, abs- like, I don't really know. I couldn't have paid that when I was in high school. Yeah. Um, That's pretty ridiculous. And, like, yeah. it's just frustrating to know that the schools surrounding are paying, like, $5 for a parking pass for the yeah. whole year. And... We're spending, I mean, I've spent $45 in parking tickets Yeah. this whole school year. That's really hard. Would you say that that's, like, one of the most frustrating things about the new school? Yeah, definitely for me. It's just the parking tickets really, oh, you come out to your car after a long day of school and you have a ticket on your car. It's so frustrating. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I think, I wish I could remember how much it was for a pass at the old VHS. I think it was, like... I want to say like $45. I was talking to other um, friends at other schools mm-hmm. surrounding us about it because I was so frustrated when I heard that it was $270. That's insane. And they were telling me that theirs were like 15 or 10 or $5. Mm-hmm. And so that was just like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but um, my I had three other sibling, older siblings that all went to Burlington. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of them cheated the system as well, I think. Yeah. My mom used to work at Burlington High School, so oh, she cool. had a sticker, and yeah. my brother uh-huh. like removed it from her car. <laughs> oh yeah, that's smart. <laughs> I think he got in trouble one year though. Yeah, <laughs> well, they figured it out eventually, but yeah. like you said, you can have like can a month or two of glory <laughs> sometimes. Um, so, what would you say like the attitude of like the students and the teachers has been towards? this transition um, from the old VHS to the new VHS? Um, in the first two years, the teachers definitely were having a hard time like adjusting to the new space. And my sister graduated last year, mm-hmm. so she was there for her junior and senior year. And um, I don't think she loved it. Yeah. <laughs> um, she definitely missed the old school. And um, I think it was h- harder for her to, like, want to be in class there because it was just it seemed so boring like when we first moved in there all the walls were just white there was Mm -hmm. no decoration it didn't feel like a school yeah um but since like we've been there for now four three years Mm -hmm. um we've added a lot of like personality to it and yeah I don't know now it feels it definitely feels like Burlington High School to me yeah I don't think of it as Macy's anymore yeah Except maybe the escalators. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny point. Um, the escalators are normally broken. So uh, then they're you just have stairs. A, a staircase, yeah. yeah, which is in the corner of the building. So it can kind of take a while to get to class if you have yeah. to take the stairs. But 
everyone's always like so jealous about our escalators but i think <laughs> a lot of the kids really don't like the escalators yeah yeah um do you feel like this is going to be like a proper high school experience like do you feel like you're going to be like satisfied with the downtown bhs um I think it's hard to, for me to answer this question because I'm in the tech program now, mm-hmm. so I'm not in downtown Burlington as often as other students are. Mm-hmm. But um, I am loving high school. I think awesome. that it's, I don't know, I, I have nothing to compare it to, right? Yeah. But um, maybe like when I go to college and I hear about other kids' high school experiences, maybe then I'll be a little bit jealous. But yeah, my friend started at Burlington her freshman and um sophomore year Mm -hmm. and then last year she transferred over to CVU oh yeah and I've been hearing all about her CVU like drama friend groups (laughs) and all the like the fun sports they have like they take sports so seriously at CVU right um and like all the games they do Mm -hmm. and I'm just I'm a little bit jealous yeah (laughs) because I'm, they have a huge like campus to be mm-hmm. on during the day, and um, a lot of more like a variety of classes. Mm-hmm. They just have a bigger student body too. So yeah, and they have their fields right next to the school. So yeah. I guess that makes me a little bit jealous. But mm-hmm. um, being in the high school every day, kind of don't have anything to compare it to. Yeah, I guess if you have like proper classes and teachers and classmates and friends then you know the building probably isn't doesn't impact the experience too much but I know having the fields far away does especially as the three season athlete seems like maybe that would impact it a little more but do people from other high schools are they like jealous that you're on like near church street Yes, I think that they are, <laughs> but um, only juniors and seniors have privileges to leave mm-hmm. the campus, and because it's kind of a health or not a health concern, a safety concern, yeah. right? But um, I think that a lot of the students don't really listen to those privileges yeah. and <laughs> are gone anyway. Yeah. We don't have that much time to leave because mm-hmm. our lunch is only twenty minutes yeah. or less. But yeah. I don't know. Most people can make it down to like Church Street. The yeah. bagel shop. Yeah. And back in time. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I know. Sometimes I'll be just like on church street in the middle of the day and I'll see like high school students with their backpacks on and I'm like, oh, they can just like wander on up here, I guess, if they're an older student. Um, have Are they talking to you as students at all about the new BHS and like the when they're building right now and what that's going to be like or I I think it's going to be three or four years before it's done maybe yes it's going to be a while so that's it doesn't like really affect the soonest it'll be done yeah. is three or four years so yeah it's not going to affect my high school career and there's no one else in my family I'm the youngest yeah. so I don't really it's not going to affect my family really mm-hmm. but um I haven't really heard that much about it because it's not affecting me, right? Yeah. But, um, like, my sibling or my best friends have little siblings, and so I think that they're going to get excited to go to this new school. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be fancy. Yeah. Um, one of my friends at UVM is on the team of people who's building and sort of That's cool. constructing it. Um, and I was kind of trying to get some info out of him and be like, is it going to be, like, super techy and fancy and new? And it sounds like they're... They're putting in some work and time to make it that way, Um, which makes sense. You know, I feel like Burlington is so, um, like, new, or I guess uh, that's not the right word, but... They're kind of, like, innovated. Yeah. And they want to be, like, on top of things, I feel like. Yeah. And so I feel like the old high school in the North End didn't really reflect that at all. It didn't really feel very Burlington. Um so I think it's awesome that they're getting a new school, but it sounds like probably no one who's in attendance of downtown Burlington right now will get to go there, even yeah. if they're a freshman. So. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but I think that a lot of the kids at our school are loving mm-hmm. 
our new downtown location. It's more central for Burlington because there's people that come from like the super south end. Yeah. Is that what it's called? I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, like down by like Dunkin' like Donuts and yeah. Oh yeah. That's so far from where the yeah. old BHS was. Yeah. If That's they like had where to take I lived. The, if they didn't have a car and they had to take the bus, that would be two bus rides. Really? They would have to make a connection hmm. at the bus stop, right? Yeah. But now that um it's right next to the, like the bus terminal, mm-hmm. there's no there's no like connections that anyone would have to make yeah. no matter where you live in yeah. Burlington. So it's pretty direct route to school. Yeah. Well, I remember I lived down not quite as far as Red Rocks, but in the South End and my drive to BHS would be like with traffic like 25 minutes, like oh my gosh. pretty far. Yeah. And you know, trying to find a ride and like someone who doesn't have to backtrack and so I think that having it it's somewhere more central kind of makes sense, but I mean, they have the, the area that they want, so. Yeah, that's a long ride to school, especially yeah. for the city. It's so yeah, small. Yeah, I know. It doesn't, like, it doesn't sound possible. Yeah. But just everyone's getting up and going somewhere at that time, and I guess usually we maybe we would make a few stops to pick up people, but still, yeah. Another change we made from moving I don't know if it was moving schools exactly Mm -hmm. or um COVID Mm -hmm. but they started to begin school at 9 a.m every morning yeah instead of I think it was like 9.05 or 8.05 or something yeah so that's a big difference it's a whole nother hour of sleep yeah that's really nice yeah classes are way shorter so I think that there's more homework because of that Mm -hmm. but you win some you lose some yeah that's nice I guess some more, like, specific questions that I was just curious about is, like, where are, like, events, like, if you had, like, a dance or, like, a theater, um, like, a play go on, where would those be? Um, Our homecoming dance was, I think, oh, my gosh, where was it? I think it was at Edmonds (laughs) Edmonds <laughs> Edmonds Middle School's gym. Oh my gym. gosh. Yeah. yeah. So we have I to mean, be pretty resourceful and yeah. look around. But um, our winter ball was at the Hilton. Mm-hmm. That's right on Battery Street. So pretty close to our school. Yep. Parked in the same garage and mm-hmm. everything. Um, and then our prom is at Champlain College. So that's going to be really pretty. Um, we don't have pep rallies, which yeah. I think I would have loved to have. But I that never experienced one so I don't know what I'm missing out Mm -hmm. on but it sounds right up my alley (laughs) yeah um if we have a school meet like assembly which we don't really have but maybe like one a year Mm -hmm. we rent out the Flynn Mm -hmm. which it's like a whole event we have to walk over yeah (laughs) it's pretty pretty yeah that sounds like like a migration yeah (laughs) yeah I mean I guess that makes sense and again it's just like there is so much around like thank god it wasn't like the macy's wasn't like where like sears was you know what i mean yeah. like obviously that's south burlington but it seems like as a, the placeholder that it is the location works pretty well since there's so much that they don't have like yeah. as in like extra space for like assembly rooms where all the students can fit yeah, I, I agree. I think that the community also, like, has adjusted to the fact that we don't have all the things that other schools have, mm-hmm. and they're, like, willing to um, arrange dates with us to, like, share their spaces. Yeah. And so, I don't know. In a way, I think that this has made our community more stronger. hmm Yeah. And is there, there's no, like, outside spaces where you can hang out, right? No, we have no outside spaces on campus, but... um. I think this year our student government is trying to work on building like an outdoor lunch space Mm -hmm. on top of our parking garage. Oh, (laughs) I mean, um, it might not work because we don't own the parking garage. The city of Burlington does. But um, we have to like get that permit and then they're going to put some picnic tables up there maybe. And um, they wanted to put like a little greenhouse up there, I think. Yeah. Which would be cute. Um, But cars still park up there so yeah. it's like how can you yeah do that I don't really know yeah I mean you would think that if like I mean there's like three parking garages in the downtown area so 
I mean, like, what's that one level? Yeah. But that would be really cool if that happened. I guess, like, overall, like, what's, like, one thing that, like, has surprised you that you like about the school? If it's something that we haven't already touched on or... Um... I like how uh, the tech center is, like, right down the street. Mm-hmm. It makes it really helpful f- or, like, quick and sufficient for me to get back and forth pretty mm-hmm. quickly. Um, I also really love the location, and I think it's amazing how it's so central to Burlington yeah. so that everyone has, like, a fair um, trip to school every day. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't really think that the field's being far away is that big of an issue since yeah. we have free um bus passes and everything yeah you can still get them there at like somewhat of a reasonable time mm-hmm. and most kids like are willing to drive other students if they yeah. have their six months or if they care about the six months yeah <laughs> rule with their yeah. license but um yeah so i don't know i think that it's been a little a little bit challenging for some people mm-hmm. but the transition like in total I think it's just been a growing process and like as you become an adult there's more um challenges in your life so I think this is just like adding on to that and teaching us some yeah more skills that we can use yeah after high school yeah um do you want to like explain what the tech center is and what the different programs they offer are yeah definitely so Burlington Tech used to be in the I think on the side or the basement of the old high school yeah I don't really know I bet you do it was in like an f building which was sort of set to the side a little bit but still connected okay cool Mm -hmm. so it was connected but maybe a little bit of a walk Mm -hmm. um and now it's not connected because there's no space in Macy's it's pretty small as of holding a whole school Mm -hmm. and compared to the old school yeah but um so our new tech center is (laughs) under um Walgreens. (laughs) Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. Yeah. But it's on the same street. It's like a block and a half down from our school. Mm-hmm. It's not that like sketchy of a walk yeah. either. And since we all walk together at the same time, it's not bad at all. Yeah. But um I like it. It's there's no windows again, mm-hmm. so it's kind of an issue for me. Yeah. But at least I get to go outside for the walk over. Um the health science or the program I'm doing is the health science academy Mm -hmm. and it's just like basic anatomy one and two and then human growth and development and that stuff but there's a really cool program if I was like a techie kid that loved art Mm -hmm. I'm not good at art so that's not me (laughs) but we have a really cool like design and illustration program Mm. which kids love and um that's in the same building and there's criminal justice in the same building and then an intro to healthcare. Yeah. And I think there's one more. It's um Oh my gosh, maybe digital producing. Yeah. I'm I'm not sure if that's right, but they make music and Oh, cool. They make movies and like yeah. cool stuff like that. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like they're all like super specific, which is great for kids who know what like something that they love or even if they don't know they can try it out and have that much more of an understanding of what they like or don't like before college yeah definitely and then I think there's a few more that are off of that campus Mm -hmm. because I think there's like an automotive and oh yeah there is yeah maybe in like aircraft Mm. um wow I don't really know didn't have that when I was there yeah that one's like close to where beta technologies is at the airport yeah i mean that's kind of a cool opportunity for kids like that that want to do that um i I don't know where the automotive is is though yeah i mean yeah it was we had like a whole the old bhs had so many like almost random facilities like they had like an automotive shop basically like where you could learn to do all that and like we had a jewelry studio and like places i'm trying to think of some of the other like super niche stuff that was in the school but i mean i'm sure that they've you guys had like a um cooking class right yeah yeah Yeah, we don't have specific classes like that because Mm -hmm. there's not space yeah and our art classes are pretty simple like um i guess you guys used to do like fine arts with like metals and um pottery maybe Mm -hmm. you had some pretty cool art classes yeah 
now like after you take art one i think your op- options are like nature painting yeah which is <laughs> yeah it's pretty much the same thing as art one yeah and uh there's no pottery or anything like that yeah but that's kind definitely of a, bummer. a bummer but um at least if people know what they want to explore there's like digital Ex-program. and tech stuff which is awesome um i mean that's all of the questions that i have do you have anything else that you feel like you want people to know or do you feel like we covered everything um i'll say one more thing about like the lunch oh yeah because i think that or i've heard that the old burlington used to have like an incredible lunch set up Mm -hmm. and everyone loved it yeah yeah so now our setup is um like this super tiny kitchen Mm -hmm. or there's it's not even a kitchen they have to import food from another i think elementary school and the middle schools they bring food from Mm. and um they put it in warmers and then we get it and it's like lukewarm yeah so there's like a salad bar it's pretty simple Mm -hmm. nothing extreme like our middle school salad bars used to be so much better yeah um but we have that, and then normally we have pizza from Domino's, like, yeah. every single day. Yeah. Because we have no food, and it's the only thing people will eat. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we have that, which is a good thing for us, but I think kids are getting tired of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's, like, another reason why our location is so helpful, because we don't have that amazing food for lunch every day. Mm-hmm. Kids, like, will just run out quickly, go downtown, yeah. hit up City Market. Yeah grab a bagel which it gets expensive yeah but um I know that there used to be a program where students could get breakfast lunch and dinner like while they're at school and do they still do that for students who like maybe didn't have enough money to be buying food or have food at home um they still try to do that I don't know if they're the meals are as sufficient yeah but um the breakfast is, I think, baggies of food. I'm not really there in the morning, so I've never yeah. seen it. But I think they're prepackaged bags, mm-hmm. maybe with, like, a slice of bread, mm-hmm. a juice box, an apple. Yeah. So nothing, like, you'd want to eat every single day. Yeah. Um, But it's something. Yeah. And then I think that there's an after me- an after school snack, not a dinner or mm-hmm. anything. But the snack might be, like, it's another prepackaged baggie. Yeah. Which I'm not really sure what's in it, but. It's nothing that would fill you for the whole night. Yeah. Well, I think that's all that I have to ask you and really, really appreciate you coming here and telling us about it. I feel like I learned a lot and it was really, really interesting to hear your perspective. Yeah. It was fun to talk about. (laughs) Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yay. No problem. Yay. Bye. Bye.